Proverbs 31. Scripture is meant to bring hope, not guilt or shame or condemnation. For so long, I can remember seeking out scripture to figure out how I was supposed to be living, but instead of feeling conviction and desire for change, I felt guilt and frustration that I wasn't enough and often closed my Bible believing I never would be. I have a really strong feeling that for many women, we do this when we read Proverbs 31. As the scripture gives an account of a godly woman, wife, and mother, it brings attention to all the tasks a woman is responsible for. It beautifully shines light on the importance and significance of the woman's role within her home and family, while also giving quite the detailed account of our many varying responsibilities. Many years ago, I started reading Proverbs 31 on the first day of every month, kind of as a restart for myself, a reminder of where my focus should be. But it wasn't until recently that I realized instead of finding joy in those verses, I felt guilt. Instead of finding hope, I felt burdened. Instead of finding the calling of God, I found a checklist from myself. Let us not forget that God's word is meant to be a guidepost, a lamp to our feet, an encouragement in time of trouble, and a hope in time of need. Is it meant to point us towards something greater? Yes, of course, but God has never been in the game of guilt tripping. He sees us today, but also knows where we'll be tomorrow and is taking care of our imperfections second by second in the in-between. So the next time you find yourself feeling guilt over who you're not yet, remind yourself if you're not dead, God's not done. You're still his work in progress. 